Today we will be talking about converting time units. On the board, I have some common units of time. One year, one week, one day, one hour, one minute. I will give you some of the basic conversions for that. So one year, most of us know it is equivalent to 365 days, except for every four years where we have leap year, and then there's 366, but we will just go with 365. We can also say that a week, uh, a year is 52 weeks. We can also say it is 12 months. So just depending upon your problem, you want, might want to say, you know, if I have 37 weeks, what fraction of the year is that? So you can do things like that. One week we know is seven days. One day we can convert to 24 hours. One hour has 60 minutes. And one minute has 60 seconds. So once you have those basic facts down pat, we can start to do some problems. So say we have one minute, 45 seconds. One minute, 45 seconds. We want to know how many total seconds that is. So what we know is one minute equals 60 seconds. So here's our one minute. We have 60 seconds here. We have 45 seconds here. We add those together, we get 105 seconds. That seems pretty easy. Now, what happens if we have, say, 450 minutes? We want to know how many hours that is. How many hours? So, we could set up a proportion if we want. You, you might be able to figure this out just by dividing. If you want to, you know that, well, there's 60 minutes in an hour. I, I'm just going to divide that. You probably could. Or we could set up a proportion. So 45 minutes is equal to x hours. I'm going to set up my proportion, another ratio. We know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 60x equals 450. Now I'm going to isolate my x, divide by 60, cross off, and now I have 450 divided by 60. So I'm going to just use my calculator right now, and I get 7.5 hours. You can do that with all the various uh, units of time. Now go practice.